In this video, we're going to solve the equation a to the negative 2 power minus a to the negative 1 power minus 6 equals 0 by using a substitution method to change this into a quadratic that we might be more familiar with. This method works because we've got one exponent that is half the other exponent. Negative 2 is double negative 1. And so what we'll do is we'll take the middle or smaller value and make that equal to a new variable, maybe b. We say b is equal to a to the negative 1, and then when we square b, that'll double the exponent on a, making it negative 2. Notice that is the other piece. So we can make a substitution replacing a to the negative 2 with b squared minus a to the negative 1 can be replaced with b minus 6 equals 0. And that gives us a quadratic that we're familiar with solving, probably by factoring, where we multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. This works with 2 and 3 if the 3 is negative. And because there's a 1 in front of b squared, we can jump to those being our factors, b plus 2 and b minus 3 equals 0. Now that it's factored, we can set each factor equal to 0, b plus 2 equals 0, and b minus 3 equals 0, and then solve each of these equations by subtracting 2 to get b equals negative 2, and adding 3 to get b is equal to 3. Of course, we don't really want this equation to be b equals because we don't care about b. What we're looking for is a's. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these b's with what it equals, a to the negative 1. a to the negative 1 equals negative 2, and b to the negative 1 equals 3. I'm running out of space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and move them up here so we have a little space to work. What do these negative exponents mean? Negative exponents simply mean we have 1 over that guy. 1 over a equals negative 2, which we can solve by multiplying both sides by the LCD of a. That gives us 1 equals negative 2a, and then divide both sides by negative 2 to get our first solution for a to be negative 1 half. We can do much the same thing on the other one, where b to the negative 1 equals 3. b to the negative 1 is 1 over b equals 3, sorry, positive 3. And again, we clear the denominator by multiplying both sides by b, so that 1 equals 3b. And finally, divide both sides by 3. Oops, why do I have a and b here? What did I do wrong? They should both be a, shouldn't they? a to the negative 1 equals 3, 1 over a equals 3. So we multiplied both sides by a. Sorry, make sure we're substitute back. We switch back our variables. And so we get a is also equal to positive 1 third. And that gives us our two solutions. a is negative 1 half, and a is 1 third. We found those solutions by making a substitution, replacing that middle variable with a new variable, squaring it so the first variable would become simply b squared. That gives us a quadratic, which we can solve by factoring and setting each factor equal to 0, and then we substitute back using a and solving those resulting equations. Quadratic in form.